Hi, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. This is going to be tutorial eight in the series of modeling for beginners. Um, this is just going to progress on from the last video. So I will put the link to that video at the end of this. Um, so that last one just looked at using chamfer with a vertex. In this video, what we're going to do is look at how we can create a bit more of a complex shape like so using just the chamfer tool predominantly. So this one again is going to be a great tutorial for beginners. So if you're getting used to using SOLIDWORKS, this will be really good for you uh, in terms of developing your understanding of some of the tools. Right. Let's... Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is model onto the front plane. So I'm just going to sketch on here and I'm going to create this back shape. So starting here, cross, up, cross, down, and like so. Okay, so I'm just creating the back shape there. Now this is going to be 40 by 40. 40 across, by 40 up, and then this top bit is going to go 20 by 20. Like so, just to give me that angle. Now from there, I'm going to extrude that out. So I'm going to extrude that the full length of 70 mil. So I'm going to features, extrude, and I'm going to bring that to 70 mil out, like so. Now what that gives me is the back shape, but it's all the full length of the actual model itself. So I need to start shrinking this down here now. So the way I'm going to do that is using the chamfer tool. Let's go to fillets here and chamfer and I'm going to click that front edge there. Now this is not going to be at an angle, it's going to be at a distance. So I want it to go 20 down but I want it to go 40 across. Now at the moment it's only giving me one distance value so I need to change the distance value here from systematic to So, so I'm symmetric to asymmetric, like so. So my distance one is the distance it goes back. So I'm going to set that at 40. And distance two is the distance it goes down. So I'm going to set that at 20, like so. And tick there. And that creates that slant down. And I'm going to repeat that on the side here as well. So chamfer again on the side here. And this time it's bringing it up as 40 at 45 degrees. Well, I want that distance by distance again. I stayed on asymmetric and it's gone 40 and 20 across. So let's take that there, giving me that shape. Now, all I'm missing here is the triangle of this face. So let's have a look. How can we do that? So I'm going to use the chamfer tool again one last time, chamfer. And I want to set, this time, a chamfer with a vertex. So I'm using that vertex tool that we did on the last tutorial. I'll put the link to the tutorial at the end of the video. Um, here, I'm going to click this point where they all meet, converge in the center. And now, if I look, it's not giving me a preview. The reason for that is this distance up here has gone too far. So if I change that to 20, just so I can show you. We're now getting that triangle in there, but I don't know the exact distance of this line. I want it to finish there. So to find that exact distance, I'm gonna to go to evaluate, and I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna measure that line. And it says 24.49. Now, because I've chamfered these by the same amount, I know all three of these lines are exactly the same size. So 24.49 is the value that I want. So I'm gonna put in here, 24.49, and I'm going to do that three times. And one last one. Like so. And that now will create that triangle shape in here. Tick there, and I've got that final place in there. Now I'll just put that into an isometric view so we can see it. And again, Let's add an appearance. Uh, 
Um, let's go. Gold yellow color. There we go. Okay, so um, uh, there we go. Finishing off with um, that final product. Now, this is just a progression on from what we were looking at in tutorial seven. So this is tutorial eight, looking at how we can combine, combine a few different chamfers to make a bit more of a complex shape. Now, I hope you like this tutorial. Please give us a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll be putting more content out in the upcoming days. Um, yeah, um, please keep watching and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.